Welcome to Prime Logic. Here we dive into the fascinating world of mathematics. Today I'm exploring a really stunning geometry problem that will challenge your mind and hopefully inspire your love for math. So let's get us started. Uh, so as you can see from this image and from the thumbnail, this is a beautiful and challenging, I think, uh, problem of geometry. And we want to know, based on this shape, we want to know the area of, of the semicircle. So all, <clears throat> all we have here is two right angles. So these two uh, triangles are right angles. So they are right angled. So we know that the area of this one is eight units. The area of this one, the bigger one is four times more, which is 32. And we have nothing more. So we have no more information. So before starting, before watching this solution, please uh, pause the video for a couple of minutes. Think about it. As I mentioned before, the, the most fundamental, uh, the most elemental, the most crucial way uh, be before trying to solve and, and think about a solution is, is organize your thoughts, structure your, your methodology and, 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 and your solution. So without this, you will be lost somewhere down the road. So think about it for a second. And can you solve this? If you can just, or, or if your solution differs from mine, just put it in the comment section below and we can have a conversation going. So now let's start this, this part. So let's have some assumptions for assumptions first. So we assume the height of this this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, and all these triangles, the height is h. So let's assume the base of this triangle is x. Let's assume the base of this bigger triangle is y. So uh, this uh, the method that I chose for today, and I think this is the, the most clear and the most obvious method is we want to reach this relationship between h, x, and y. So based on, based on a very beautiful theorem in geometry, which is called intersecting chords theorem. So I will, I will show it to you briefly, but it is the, the proof of this theorem is out of the scope of this one. I think you should know this one. If you don't, please search it online. You can watch a lot of videos on, on how to use this intersecting chords problem uh, and theorem. So based on this intersecting chords theorem, h squared equals x, y. So this is probably the most important relationship that we will need today to solve our problem and to find the area of this semicircle. Before moving on, let me briefly show to you what this intersecting chords uh, theorem is. So this is not a paper. So just imagine this is this is a circle. And if we draw any two arbitrary chords, so let's draw two chords here. So they don't have to be diameters. So they can just be two chords, two segments whose points are on the circumference of the circle. So these are two chords. And let's name it A, B, C, and D, this part. So based on this, oh, let me write the name here. Intersecting chords theorem. This, this, uh, the product uh, the sum of the product of these two, each segment of these two uh, of the chords is equal to one another. So, for example, this chord is comprised of A and B. This chord is C and D. So, the product of all these two segments, so A times B equals C times D. And if you want to know more, so we can draw two more chords here. So, this is one chord. This is another chord. So now we have two similar triangles. So these two angles are the same. And so are these two angles. So are 
these two angles, these two uh, triangles are similar, we can even prove them, but, and then we can write the proportion. So for example, uh, we can write the proportions and we can reach this formula. And we know that if, and, and based on another theorem, so if we have a, a diameter, so let's this one be the center of the circle. If we have a diameter here, and the diameter makes a right angle with one of the chords. So imagine, this is an imaginary arbitrary chord. This one is the diameter of the circle if there is a right angle between this uh, diameter and, and one of the chords. Uh, based on another theorem, we know that uh, the diameter bisects the chord in other ways. So this is A, this is B, A equals B. So this is just, just a very, very uh, short, brief uh, explanation about it. Please go online and search about it if you are interested to uh, know more. So let's come back to our beautiful geometry problem. So in this case, we have the diameter here and we have one of the chords here, and this is a semicircle. So if we, let's say, extend the chord, to the same length, let's say, and let's imagine this is a full circle. And this is the chord. So based on this theorem that I just described for you, so we know that this is the diameter. So X times Y equals H times, what is this one? So this diameter bisects the chord this is also H because bisect means they, they two are similar, they are equal. So, and based on this intersecting chords uh, theorem, H times H equals uh, X time, times Y. And now we have this H squared times XY. So I think that was interesting to, to know how everything goes on, how everything works in the background. I think this is really great to know everything. And now let's write some more, let's try to reach and find uh, some more relationships here. So in, in the first triangle, so let's write uh, the formula for the, uh, for, for the area of this triangle. So we know that H times X, which is the base of the triangle, over 2, so this is uh, the formula, uh, the area of the triangle equals 8 in this part. In other words, we can write, so HX equals 16. That's the first one. We, we do the same thing for the second bigger triangle. So we know that H times Y over 2, so this is the height and the base over 2, this is the area of this bigger triangle equals equals 32, in other words, H, Y equals 64. This is another uh, relationship that we need now. So let's divide this, this one, the bigger one, this one, H, Y over H, X. So let me write it here, uh, H, Y over H, X equals 16, sorry, uh, 64 over 16. In other words, y over x equals 4. So how can we write it even further? We can say y equals 4x. So this is another important relationship that we found. So if y is 4x, we can write it in our shape here. So y equals 4x. And we know that the whole diameter here is 5x. So, so x plus 4x is 
x. So what's next now? So let's come back to this formula. h squared equals xy. So let's uh, substitute y by 4x. So h squared equals x times y, which is 4x, which equals to 4x squared. So if we take uh, the square root from both sides, we can write h equals 2x for sure. Another important relationship. So let's write it down in our shape now. So now based on... so. At first, we had different variables. Now, the uh, the area of this, this triangle, uh, we can write a formula for, and we have just one variable, which is x here, right? So let's let's use either of these tri triangles. It doesn't matter, really. Uh, so, for example, let's use this one, which is smaller, easier. So we can write 8, right? So 8 was the area of the smaller triangle equals uh, height. over x over 2. So we know that uh, h is here 2x. So 8 equals 2x times x over 2, which is x squared. So if we take the ra uh, radical or square root from this, this part, x equals square root of 8, which is, so 2 times 4, which is 2 square root of 4. So we found x. This is, uh, this part is x, 2 square root of 4, root of uh, 2, and this part is y, which is 4, four, four times this. Now we want to know the, uh, the diameter and the radius for finding the area of the semicircle, right? So we have a semicircle. We need to find uh, the diameter. So it's easy now. We notice we need to find the radius and finally calculate the whole area. So uh, based on uh, this one, so we found x. So we know that uh, the diameter is two times the radius. So we can write the formula here. So two times radius which is the diameter, is the whole thing is 4x, x is 5x, so 2r equals 5x, 2r equals 5 times x, which is 2 square root of 2. So 2r equals 10 square root of 2. In other words, here we can write r equals 5 square root of 2. So we finally found the radius here, the radius, which is half of this diameter. So this part is 5 square root of 2, and the rest is just one less step or one less formula. So we know that the area of circle is pi r squared, but area of semicircle is the same thing over 2. So let's substitute. So it is pi r squared. So r squared is r is 5 square root of 2, the whole thing squared over 2. So let's go to the next line. So area of semicircle equals pi times 25 times 
2 over 2, the whole thing. So we to cancel each other out. So we know that the area equals 25 pi. This is the final answer. So at first, it seemed really difficult, challenging. We just had two areas of, of, of two tri right angle triangles, 8 and 32. But based on this beautiful intersecting course theorem, we finally were able to, to find each part, to find uh, the diameter, x, y, radius. And, and finally, we could uh, solve it for, for the area of the semicircle. So I think. That's it for today. Thanks for uh, joining me on this uh, journey, this geometry journey into uh, here at Prime Logic. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you enjoyed uh, this problem, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, please hit that notification button or bell for more mathematical and in future grammar, English grammar adventures. And I want you to leave your thoughts or even leave your solutions in the comment sections below. And uh, let's keep your, our conversation going. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep loving math. And keep your logics prime. Bye for now.